Good afternoon, Scarview 240 CAO's Mayan MC or Mayan's Flathead Steel Horse, as it says on the label, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, six inch, 60 ring gauge, Nicaraguan made, about 10 bucks a cigar. I love it. I, I really, really like it. Notes of very strong spice, very light chocolate notes uh, in the first third. And then in the second, uh, really two thirds, we get into more heavy toast and dough. Not really that kind of bakery shop you sometimes get, but really, I mean, almost like a breakfast toast. It's, it's delicious. It's a very good cigar. It's drawing well. It's only fault, if it has one, is that it was burning kind of unevenly. A uh, little touch up with the lighter and a little, you know, saliva method, and it got fixed. Kind of interesting, it, you know, the, the MC apparently, there's something like a Mayans Motorcycle Club. Apparently that's from Sons of Anarchy, something I had to Google, I had no idea what that was. Uh, that's, I guess, how they came up with the name. Apparently other people have made MC type cigars, but I like it. Typically, when you get to about ten dollars a cigar, this is I expect a lot. It can't just burn well, draw well, and have an okay taste. It really needs to have a good taste, and this one does. Now, I do think this is a cigar that I would not smoke on an empty stomach. I think you might feel sick. I do not have an empty stomach, so I feel completely fine. Uh, yesterday, I had the Room One Hundred One Muzzle Loader, which is really similar, six inch, six year gauge, kind of a heavier cigar like this one, and I was just tipsy uh, after it. Don't have the same impact from this one, again, because I ate. I really like it. One thing that's interesting, Cigar Aficionado yesterday or today, this morning, whenever, posted something, I think yesterday, what's your ideal ring gauge? What's the biggest you would smoke? And it was really interesting. A ton of people had comments on there about, oh, I'd never go over 50, I'd never go over 54. There was like two people that said, yeah, 60 ring gauge is my ideal cigar. And that, I think, belays a shift from smaller to larger cigars like this one. I think this is a great size. In fact, I think it's the ideal size. I love six inch, 60 ring gauge cigars. Um, you can get sicker faster because you're puffing down a lot of nicotine, but I really like it. And even at $10, I would go with a strong buy rating on the cigar. I am curious if anyone else has had this, what they think, do they think it's worth 10 bucks? You know, we're getting into a little bit higher of a price range with this one. I'm curious what people think. So leave a comment, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.